Hi guys. Today in this video, I will turn this dead LED power supply into the variable lab bench power supply with adjustable voltage of 0 to 30 volts and adjustable current of 0 to 10 amperes. Since the power supply is dead, so I will get this PCB out from this case. As the both sides of this case is open, so I 3D printed the front and back parts for switches, connectors and other necessary components. STL files can be downloaded from video description. I used this AC connector to plug in the AC from outlet. This self lock on off switch to turn output power on and off. This DC jack in case you want to use external DC supply and 5 volt cooling fan for the cooling of all electronics. I used these terminal connectors on front part for variable power output and this USB connector for fixed 5 volts output. Instead of normal potentiometers, I used these multi-turn potentiometers for precise voltage and current adjustment. I used this regulator module that comes with current and voltage adjustment. Since I used multi turn potentiometers, I desoldered them out from the module. Also, this main IC is mounted to small heatsink, so I desoldered it out and will be mounted directly with this aluminium case for good heat dissipation. On this prep board, I soldered fuse for output protection. And also soldered these two voltage regulators 5 volts for the cooling fan and 12 volts for volt and current meter. Since the 10 ampere supply is bigger sized, so I used this small supply of 30 volts and 5 amperes for smaller loads. Also I used this LM2596 module for 5 volt 3 ampere output. Now secure all modules with screws at its place. Now connect all the components according to the circuit diagram. You can use this volt and current meter for monitoring, but I converted it to bigger display with same module. Secure it at its place and connect the connectors. For easy sourcing of components, visit utsource.net. Here you will find any type of components in both through hole and surface mount. They also offer global shipping service, so can deliver anywhere in the world. You can upload BOM file or simply search component in the search bar. And here you have it. Also you will be able to download technical data sheet of each and every component. Simply add your components to cart. Choose shipping service. And then proceed to checkout. Now it is almost ready but we need to adjust this module for this USB output to 5 volts. So I powered it on and used multimeter to set the output to 5 volts. Now it is time to close the upper lid and secure the 3D printed front and back parts with screws. Now, our lab bench power supply is fully ready. This is AC input for up to 5 ampere output. This is external DC input in case the testing load is up to 10 amperes. Output power on and off switch. And here is cooling fan. On front side, we have current and voltmeter display, variable output connectors, fixed 5 volt 3 ampere USB. I also 3D printed knobs for current and voltage potentiometers. You can download all the STL files from video description. Now I turned it on and output can be adjusted up to 30 volts and decreased up to 1 volt. For testing let's set output to 12 volts.
you can see all the values as displayed, and current can be also adjusted. The display flickering is visible only in camera refreshing, but flickering is not visible to human eyes. You can also charge battery of any voltage. I will set voltage to 14 volts to charge this 12 volt lead acid battery. You can see all the displayed values. Now let's charge this 6 volt battery. Set the voltage to 7.5 volts. You can see all the values, like how much current battery is consuming, and even you can control it too. For testing loads up to 10 amperes, I will use this external 10 amperes power supply. Simply plug it into the DC jack. Now let's try the different current settings. If you enjoyed the video give a thumbs up. For more useful videos, subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.